Good morning, students. Let's start with a new chapter. That is chapter number six, bar graph, module one. In this chapter, we are going to learn how to draw a bar graph, and also we'll be learning how to read a bar graph. Let's start with the chapter. Now, children, let's understand graph paper. Now, the picture number one, which appears on the left. Shows grid of lines formed by vertical and horizontal lines. Now, the intersection of vertical and horizontal lines forms a square. Now, each square, the length of each square is one centimeter. Now you can see a square is formed. Now let's see a second picture shows a graph paper where we have horizontal lines and vertical lines. So this grid of lines forms again a square. Each square has a length of side that is one centimeter. Now, children, what is the difference between two graph papers which appear on the left and right? Now, the picture which is there on the left has a square which has a side of one centimeter, and picture on the right also has a square which measures one centimeter. But this one centimeter is divided into more minute parts where the measurement of each part is one millimeter. So the least count of the graph on the right hand side is one millimeter, whereas the least count, that is the minimum measurement, what we can measure on the graph paper. On left hand side picture is one centimeter. So this is the difference between the two graph papers. Now, now children, let's understand why we need to draw bar graph. This is an example from textbook page number 35. In this example, we need to fill the boxes on the right hand side. Let's read the question. A pictogram of the types and number of vehicles in town is given below. Taking one picture is equals to five vehicles. Write their number in the pictogram. Now the scale which is given here is one picture is equals to five vehicles. So one bicycle which is drawn as a pictogram is nothing but it represents five bicycles in a town. Now we have to find out the number of bicycles represented. Now let's count the number of bicycles given as a pictogram. How many it is children? Count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now six bicycles as a pictogram represent how many bicycles? Now one picture is five vehicles. So six will be multiplied by five. So children tell me how much it is. Six fives are very good, 30. Now next we have motorcycle. Count the number of pictograms for this motorcycle. One, two, three, four, five. So five pictograms of motorcycle are given. So these five pictograms represent how many motorcycles? Five into five is, yes, very good, 25. Now next, uh, let's see next auto rickshaw. Now in auto rickshaws only one pictogram is given. So this one picture represents how many auto rickshaws? 
Yes, so we'll be multiplying 5 into 1. So 5 into 1 is 5. Now next is bullock carts. Now how many pictures of bullock carts are given children? Count it and tell me. Yes, very good. It is 3. So 3 pictures represents how many bullock carts? One picture is 5 vehicles. So 3 pictures will be 3 into 5. Children, 3 into 5 is how much? 15. Very good. Now this is representation which is given in the form of pictogram. Now children, is it possible for us to every time draw these pictures? It will definitely take a long time. So what is the alternate method that we can use for representation of the same data without drawing pictures? So yes, children, your answer is correct. That is bar graph. So we'll be learning now how to draw bar graph. Now, before we learn how to draw bar graph, let's understand the elements which we need to take care of on a graph paper. Now you can see this is a bar graph which is drawn for the, for the data which we have seen just now. Let's understand the elements. The line which appears in the form of an orange line that is horizontal line this line on the graph paper is called as x axis now let's see the next vertical line this vertical line on the graph paper is known as y axis now when we draw a graph we need to give graph a title now the title for this graph is number of vehicles in a town. Next, before we represent the data, we need to check what is the feasible scale. Now children, the maximum number of vehicles here is 30. So if I take one unit is one centimeter, that is one centimeter as uh, one vehicle. So we'll be taking 30 lines to represent this or 30 boxes. So which is uh, not possible on a graph paper or which will be too big. So we have taken here one unit is equals to five vehicles. Next element. We need to specify what we are going to show on the x-axis and the y-axis. On the y-axis, we are showing number of vehicles. And on the x-axis, names of vehicles are given. So these are the elements of the graph. Now we'll be learning how to read a graph paper. Reading bar graph, practice set 18. Let's start. Practice set 18. Let's read the question. This bar graph shows maximum temperature in degree Celsius in different cities on a certain day in the month of February. Observe the graph and answer the questions. Now, dear children, we need to observe the graph and the questions are given alongside. We need to answer those questions. Let's understand this graph first. We can see there is X axis and Y axis and we can see five rectangles in pink color. Now, let's go for question number one. What data is shown on the vertical and the horizontal lines? Now, as you can see, the vertical line 
on the graph paper shows temperature and the horizontal line shows different cities that is Panjgani, Pune, Chandrapur, Mathiran, Nasik. So we can write the answer. Vertical lines show temperature and horizontal lines show different cities. Let's go for the next question. Which city had the highest temperature? Now let's see which is the rectangle with the highest height. You can see a dotted line which is pointing towards 35 degree centigrade temperature on the y axis. Now, dear children, tell me which is the city with this highest temperature? Yes, it's Chandrapur. So we can write the answer Chandrapur has the highest temperature. Let's go to the next question. Which cities had equal maximum temperatures? Now you can see a dotted line on the graph. Now just check which two cities have the graph or the rectangles on this dotted line. We can see Pune and Nasik matching the height. So Pune and Nasik have equal temperatures. Now, which cities had maximum temperature of 30 degree Celsius? Now, let's see. You can again see a dotted line which is uh, pointing towards 30 degree temperature on the y axis. Now, we can write the answer. Pune and Nasik had maximum temperature of 30 degree Celsius. Next question. Question number five. What is the difference between the maximum temperatures of Panchkani and Chandrapur? Answer. Now, children, let's first find out temperatures of Panchkani and Chandrapur. You can see a dotted line pointing at the temperature of 25 degrees centigrade. So this is the temperature of Panchgani. So we can write maximum temperature of Panchgani is 25 degrees Celsius. Now let's see the temperature of Chandrapur. Now we can see again a dotted line this dotted line is pointing towards the temperature of 35 degrees Celsius on the y axis. This is the temperature of Chandrapur. So we can write maximum temperature of Chandrapur is 35 degrees Celsius. Now let's find out the difference. Therefore, difference is equals to 35 minus 25 is equals to. 10 degree Celsius. Now children, I hope you understood how to read graph. So you need to solve practice set 18 in your maths fair notebook. Thank you.